My name is Michael Lombardo with GlideFast Consulting, and today I'll be doing a quick overview of ServiceNow just around the user interface and some basic functionality in ServiceNow. As you'll see, as soon as I log in right away, we have this uh, dashboard homepage functionality of ServiceNow. Um, right up, you can set a default homepage for pretty much everyone in IT if you'd like. Um, based on their role, we can choose which home page we'd like them to see. So right now we're looking at just the basic uh, I idle home page, which is basically everyone in IT. Uh, when they first log in, this is what they would see. So you can set this. Uh, we can customize this by default in any way we'd like. Um, and maybe you have some key performance indicators. Maybe you have you know your your work queue. Um, listed here so it's it's really powerful you can set this by default you can also set it maybe just the service desk um, sees a certain home page uh, it's it's and it's fully customizable per user so you'll see as soon as I drag this over to the right over here you'll see the the title of the home page changes to my idle home page and now this becomes completely owned by me I can delete uh, reports off here I can add new reports maybe there's some uh, there's plenty of out-of-box reports, but maybe there's been some customized reports per your organization. And it's really, really simple. Uh, pretty much any user can navigate their way through this. And again, you can create your own home pages. Um, I went ahead and just created a quick uh, example of a, of a service desk home page. Uh, you can also add in a uh, refresh interval if you'd automatically like to refresh it. Another great piece of functionality is is the chat. So it's very similar to like a Google Hangouts type of functionality where um, it, it's it's a pop up window right in your screen. There's also desktop notifications. Uh, so if if your browser is minimized uh, and somebody sends you a message, it, it'll pop up on the browser. Just to give a quick example here, if I wanted to send uh, uh, an email to David Liu, I can type that in. Um, and you know, obviously, you can chat. Hey, what's the status of this incident? And what I really like about this, let's say, if I go to this incident here, if I just uh, j just from the simple fact of typing in an incident number, let's go here. So I'll just type it in here. Inc. One, two, three, four. Five five zero. So just from typing in the number and hitting enter, the system's intelligent enough to recognize that that's a record number in the system, a unique identifier, uh, and it automatically creates a link for it. So if I let's browse away from this incident for a second, and if I actually click on this, it'll take me right into that incident. For well, the system, uh, you know, recognizes that's a, re a system number and takes you directly into that. Another um, very important functionality of service now is the um, search functionality so let's say occasionally you'll have a user call in let's say on the service desk if, if I'm a, if I'm a service desk agent and a user calls in and says hey my manager Beth called and you know I wasn't sure what the incident number is and maybe she didn't even know the last name I can just search for Beth and you'll see I get results right away so I have incident results change results you know, really searches pretty much everything in the system, it even searches knowledge, catalog items. Maybe I, I actually found the user record itself. Maybe we had a change of phone number or something. So very, very great functionality. If I typed in something like SAP, again, it's going to search every, <clears throat> every, we have the ability to add pretty much any um, form in ServiceNow or any table in ServiceNow into the search. Another very useful feature of ServiceNow is just the basic list layout um, functionality. So uh, what, I'm, what I'm looking at right now is a list of incidents. And just from this view right here, I have the power to do so much. Um, so it's, it's very similar to Excel where I can um, auto, you know, double click into a cell and modify it directly. Um, um, sample incident number two. Right, so I have the modify. I also have the ability to modify multiple rows at once. So if I just hold down the shift key, similar to Excel, obviously, and just press the down arrow, I can I can modify multiple fields at once. So if I wanted to say 
you know, all these assignment groups should be service desk. They can go ahead and do that, click save, and now just like that, very quickly, seamlessly, I've just updated multiple incidents at once. And that's pretty much available for every single field on the form. There's also, um, I really love the show matching functionality. So if I wanted to see, okay, show me all the incidents that are assigned to the service desk. Uh, in other systems, you may have to go in, uh, you know, run a custom report or things like that. With, with ServiceNow, you can easily just right click and hit show matching. Uh, and now you'll see at the top here, the filter we have, uh, originally it was active is true now it just added in assignment group is service desk um, and and now I'm looking at all the incidents that are active and assigned to the service desk similar to that we have the ability to do the opposite right filter things out so if I want to say you know what I want to see everything not assigned to the service desk I can just right click and filter out I also have the uh, ability to add bookmarks in service now so I can you know, I can do, I can add pretty much anything that's a link in service now, anything that's clickable, I can uh, create a bookmark from that. So if I grab this, if I wanted to grab this whole filter, right, where I, um, I want to, maybe I look at this every day, every incident that's not assigned to the service desk, maybe that's part of my job. I can just grab this and drop it over here. And if I go to the star functionality, I have the ability, you know, let's go into an incident and then I can go back to that query every time. Same thing with an incident. If I wanted to save a particular incident or any record in service now, I can just drag that that link because this is something I can click on. I can drag that over to the left hand side and now it's a bookmarked for later. I also have the ability to modify these. So if I wanted to, you know, maybe this was a web queue. This was, again, this was part of my job. Uh, web queue monitoring, right? I have the ability to just save that. Now I know what it is. I can actually even... Uh, change the icon, change the color of it. And then it also I can get rid of this lift navigator and it kind of just, just has my bookmarks. So if I'm you know trying to save as much real estate on the screen as possible, it's also a very powerful feature for that. Let's go back to our list of incidents. I'm going to show all records here. Uh, same way I do the right click and filter out things, I also have this uh, very nice search functionality where I can search pretty much any field that's here. I can type in, uh, let me see, Outlook. Now it shows me everything with, uh, related to Outlook there. There's also this filter functionality. If you want to get a little bit deeper uh, and more complex into what you're searching for, I want to search for the customer or the caller. Is... Beth, I don't know if we have any of those, but we'll find out. And she looks like she did call in once. And if we go into this record, you see if I can, if I just hover over this eye, I can see, pretty much get a nice preview of that record. So Beth Anglin is the caller, obviously, on that record. Um, what's also really nice, I'm actually, looks like I've already customized this. I'm going to reset this to the column defaults and then show you what, what that was. So, um, you know, out of the box you have, or, you know, your organization may customize your list layouts to be a certain way, you know, the number on the first column, the priority state, but maybe you as a service desk agent, as an end user, as a, you know, tier two level support person, you know, you care about different information, um, so you can digest as much information as quickly as possible. You have the ability as any user to modify the list layout. So maybe I want the state moved up here. Maybe I really don't care who's assigned to. Um, maybe I really need to know what category it is. Uh, and you'll see a category back in here. And once I click OK here, you'll see this icon now has a dot next to it. And that means I personalized it. And obviously the changes that I just made are there. What's also really powerful about the list views is I can run a report right from this view. So let's say I want to run a report on priority. And let's say I just want to see a quick pie chart. Show me all the incidents that I'm looking at right now um, grouped by priority in a pie chart. Uh, just in one click, I'm able to view those that information. And then it, what's really nice about the majority of reports in service now is these are all drillable, meaning I can, if I wanted to see all these low priority incidents, I can just click right in here and now it takes me to that list 
filtered to that to whatever I just clicked on, which is in this case priority is four. And if we talk, if we were using the dashboards, um, I can go back, I can just, in one click, I can say, hey, you know, I really like this report. Let me add this to my homepage. And now with just one click, that report's been added to the homepage. Okay, everyone, that'll conclude this demo. Thank you very much. And if anyone has any questions, they can feel free to email me at mike at glidefast.com. Thank you so much.